Hello there. In this video, I wanted to point out some similarities between The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom and some Studio Ghibli movies. First, I'll be pointing out a similarity that I think most people who've seen the movie Princess Mononoke will have noticed while playing the game. The main character of Princess Mononoke, Ashitaka, receives a very similar wound as Link does. His arm is grabbed by some gloom-like substance, and it burns in the same way that Link's does and both of these wounds cause magic to manifest around their arms in similar ways. The next parallel I noticed is between the Castle in the Sky Lapida and the Wind Temple. Both of these structures are introduced to the audience in the same way, being introduced originally as a giant cloud with something mysterious lurking inside of it. But what I found most resonant between these two works wasn't any striking visual similarity, it was actually the feeling I got while climbing up to the Wind Temple. You feel small and vulnerable while approaching the Wind Temple, literally at the whim of the winds. And this feeling is exactly what is portrayed in the Castle in the Sky. And as you approach the cloud, the storm gets more violent, and once it reaches its fever pitch, it suddenly stops. You quickly realize that the eye of the storm is actually calm, and then your attention is drawn to the ground beneath your feet. This was my favorite part of the whole game, and the part that I thought was most resonant with any Ghibli work. A couple other, perhaps more circumstantial similarities that I noticed were the light roots looking visually similar to the blinding core of Lapida, and Princess Zelda's secret stone necklace is evocative of Sheeta's Ethereum necklace. And the last movie that I'll be comparing to this game is Spirited Away, specifically the scene where Haku remembers his real name and I don't have anything to say here other than just look at the similarities yourself. And those are all the similarities that I noticed. Personally, I think that these parallels are too strong for them to have been made accidentally. But anyways, did you notice any that I missed? Go ahead and comment below if you did. And thanks for watching.